Shalom Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom. So, Shalom Israel, sir, this soldier asks you if you know your nationality according to the scriptures. Sis, do you know your nationality? You don't know your nationality. Sir, right there, do you know your nation? Do you know who you are according to the Bible? There are 80 nations in the Bible. Do you know which one you fall under? You don't know. You say you don't know? Sir, right there walking. Sir, sir with the boom in the hand. Do you know your nationality according to God? All right. Let's show the first. First, get me Ecclesiastes 4.16. Ecclesiastes 4 verse 16. Sorry, sorry, can come a little closer. Alright, read. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 4 and verse 16. What? There is no end of all the people. Sis, what does that mean? There is no end to all the people. Do you know? <laughs> Sir, do you know? Alright, read it again from top. Verse 16. There is no end of all the people. Uh-huh evil of all that have been before them. So the Bible is saying there is no end to, to all the people. So the people back then are now here. That's why I said there is 18 nations in the Bible. So which one do you fall under? Well, I'm going to tell you now. You are the Israelites the Bible speaks of. You understand? You are not Jamaicans. The word Jamaican simply means land of springs or land of wood and water. It's a mockery. You understand? We are going to show you your true identity, thus says the Lord. First, do you believe in the Bible? Do you believe in the Bible, sir? Do you believe in the Bible? Alright, you believe in the Bible, right? So I'm going to show you according to the Bible, what's your true identity. Get me Deuteronomy 28, starting from verse 1. Because through all the years, the churches have lied to us. You understand? They gave us, say that this is Christ, but the Bible said this is Christ. That's a lie. The, the churches are teaching us that everybody can be saved. That's a lie from the pit of hell as well. You understand? The church is teaching all bag of garbage. But here we are the Israelites. We are here to clear up all these lies. You understand? Read that. Deuteronomy 28 verse 1. Sir. Sir, right there, we're here to show you that you are the true Israelite according to the Bible. The Blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians are the Israelites. You understand? If you stay around five minutes, we can prove all of this. You understand? Say, say you got time? All right. Deuteronomy 28, verse 1. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 1. And it shall come to pass. What do you mean by it shall come to pass? It shall come to pass, meaning it's going to be a future prophecy, not right now. It shall come to pass, read. If thou shalt hearken diligently uh -huh. unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So, sis, if we keep the commandments of God, sir, we will be above on high, on high above all nations of the earth. There is no equality in that. You understand? That to show you that we are a special people. Read verse 22, 28, 2. 
Verse 2. And all these blessings shall come on thee. So if we keep the commandments of God, we will get we will be blessed. We would be a blessing set before the children of Israel, life and death. You understand? Blessings and curses. Now let's hear what verse 15 says. Read. Verse 15. Because with blessings, you also have curses. You understand? Read. But it shall come to pass. But it. But it shall come to pass. Meaning another future prophecy. Read. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day uh -huh. that all his curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So God is saying if we kept the commandments we will be above high. If we didn't keep it then we will be a curse people, a cursed nation. So my question is did we inherit the blessings or we did, did Israel as a nation inherit the curses? Your answers. What did what happened to us as a nation of people? Did we get the blessings or did we get the curses? Sir, do you know? You don't know? Sis, do you know? We get the curses? Sir, what do you say right there? Did we get the curses or did we inherit the blessings? You don't know? Alright. Well, let's see, according to the Bible, what we inherited. Get me Daniel chapter 9 verse 11. Because the Bible said precept must be upon precept, line upon line. You understand? Because through thy precepts, I get understanding. So we are going to show you now what did Israel inherit as a nation. Read that. Daniel chapter 9 verse 11. The book of Daniel chapter 9 and verse 11. Come on. Yea, all Israel have transgressed thy law, uh -huh. even by departing, that they might not obey thy voice. Uh -huh. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us. The what? The curse is poured upon us. So sis, did we inherit the blessings or did we inherit the curses? The curse, the curse is poured upon us as a nation of people. The blacks, Hispanics and Native American Indians are cursed because we didn't keep the commandments of God. Now give me Deuteronomy 28 verse 46. Because this curse is not going to leave us until Christ, the black Messiah, gets here. You understand? Read that. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 46. And they shall be upon thee. And they, they are the curses. You understand? We broke the laws. So the curses shall be upon us, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. Read. For a sign. For a sign. Question, if you turn around and look at that JN bank, that's a sign. What is that sign telling you right, right there? That it's a bank. You understand? If you see a sign say KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken, that means it's a sign to show you or indicate that that place sells chicken. So these persons will be upon the blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians for a sign. Read. And for a wonder. And upon thy seed forever. And upon your seed forever. Meaning, you cannot run from it. You go to America, these same curses will follow. You go to Peru, these same curses will follow. You can't escape it. You understand? Now let's read some of the, these curses. Give, give me a 48. Let's read some of the curses. Let's see if these curses fit the so-called Jewish man over in the land of Israel today or fit us. The Israelites, the Bible speaks of. Read. Verse 48. Come on. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemy. So the Bible says, a curse. A curse is, you shall serve your enemies. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee. So sis, who sent our enemies against us? Do you know? Come, we just read it. Sir, right there with the green tie. Who sent our enemies against us? You are listening? Alright, well we can go over back slowly for you. Hold on, hold on, hold the questions. Read. In hunger. No, start from top. At verse 48. Therefore, shall you serve thy enemies? So, sir, right there in the blue shirt, the Bible says we should serve our enemies. Are you listening? You're listening, right? You're listening to, right? Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee. So who sent our enemies against us? Do you know? We just read it. Who sent our enemies against us? Can't, you, you can't come closer. Uh, if you can't, 
project your voice. All right, well, you said the devil. All right, let's read it again. Slowly, read. Which the, which the Lord shall send against thee. So who sent the enemies? The Lord. The Lord. The Lord sent our enemies against us. Why? Jump up to 47. Verse 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness. Because we didn't serve the Lord thy God with, with, with gladness. You understand? When the Sabbath was approaching, we, we was like, ah, damn. This Sabbath again. We make it look like a burden. We disobey God's laws that is a commandment. Read up. And with gladness of heart. Uh -huh. For the abundance of all things. So we didn't appreciate what God did for us. You understand? We keep on murmuring. We keep on saying, ah, damn, ah, oh, no, no, ah, ah. Just like how we is today. We, we are not satisfied with the blessings that we have. Read on. Therefore, shall thou serve thy enemies. So God says that you don't want to serve me, the almighty power. Guess what? I'm going to send your enemies for you to serve them. Come on. Which the Lord shall send against thee. So who sent our enemies? The Lord. The Lord. Read. In hunger. And in thirst. So in hunger, if we want food, who do we have to serve? Who own KFC? Who own mothers? Who own Burger King? Who own the Chinese restaurants? I just gave away the answer. Who own these restaurants? Who does our people own them? Because all I see with our people is poverty. We don't own one squat. You understand? Read it again. Therefore, shall thou serve thy enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. So if you want food, sis, you have five minutes, or spare us five minutes. We are going over who you are according to the Bible. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians are the true Israelites. Not the so-called white man over there in Israel. So if you want food, you have to serve your enemies. Read. And in thirst, if you wanted water, you have Sis, let's be honest. Who own National Water Commission? Our enemies. That's right. Our enemies. And guess what? If we don't pay that water bill, what happened? So if water was a so-called free commodity would come out of the sky, why do we have to pay for it? They say that Jamaica is a land of wood and water, also called land of the springs. So if we were free, why would we have to pay for water? You don't know. Because our same enemy came here, captured the land, killed off your brothers and sisters, and put up dams. They set up dams and reservoirs to cut the water from coming down. And they store it and they sell us. They bottle it. You understand? Read on. And in nakedness, and in nakedness, if you look on the top of your clothes, you won't see made in Jamaica. You will see made in Taiwan, made in USA, made in China. You won't see Jamaica. Read on. And in one of our things, if you want toilet paper, sis, you have to go to your enemies. If you want cooking oil, you have to go to your enemies. If you want gas to go in your car, you have to go to your enemies. You understand? Read on. And he, and he, and he, sis, and he shall put a yoke of iron. And he, who is your enemy, shall put a yoke of iron upon your neck. Which set of people these curses fall under? Does, does everybody fit these curses? No. The children of Israel, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians are the only ones that went into cargo slave, into slavery with cargo slave ships and had chains on their neck. No other nation but the nation of Israel. And why did this happen? Because we disobeyed God's laws, statutes, and commandments. Read on. Until he have destroyed thee. So the Bible says that we will have chains upon our neck. Alright. I'm just going to finish this and I'll, then I'll take your questions. The Bible says that we will have chains upon our necks until 
we have been destroyed. Question is, do we have chains up on our necks now? Can you come a little bit closer, please? I can hardly hear you. We have chain, we have chain on our minds, but it's no more physical on our necks. We have it in our minds. You understand? So the Bible said, until we have been destroyed. But guess what? We no longer walk around with chains on our necks. So guess what? That makes us a destroyed nation. Right. Because I asked you a question a while ago, about 10 minutes, what is your nationality? And you say you don't know. That's a result of being destroyed. You understand? Jump to 68, then this, I will take a question after. Jump to 68. Because we are here to prove that you, so-called Jamaicans, you are the Israelites the Bible speaks of. The children of the slave trade are the Israelites. Read. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So God says he's going to bring you so-called Jamaican blacks from the tribe of Benjamin into Egypt again. You understand? Remember, we came out of Egypt. We walked. When most passed the Red Sea, we walked. So God is saying, I'm going to bring you into Egypt again. What does the word Egypt mean? Do you know? the most high. Now, let's get the precept for Egypt. You have it? Exodus 20 and 2. Read on. The book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. Oh. I am the Lord thy God which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Right. And another name for bondage is slavery. So go back now. So, so God says he's going to bring you into slavery again with? With ships. With what? With ships. With what? With ships. How did our four parents got over here in, in this island called Jamaica? Did, did, did we take a plane? Hold on, say, sir. Did we take a plane come over here? How did your forefathers, my mother came over here? I can't. Ship. Ship. They came in ships. Now, we are reading from the Bible. Let's see if this Bible prophecy. You have the, the cargo slave ship one. Bring, bring, bring that up. Read, read 68 again. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So, sir, come, come over here and look. The Bible says that the Lord, the Lord is the one who will bring us into slavery. That's the, that's the definition for the word Egypt. Into slavery again. With car with ships, cargo slave ships. This is how our forefathers came over this side of the world. Cargo slave ships. We're reading from the Holy Bible. Read. By the way, whereof I speak unto thee. So the same way Moses had it documented is the same way it's going to happen. Nothing won't fail. None of this prophecy won't fail. Read on. Thou shall see it on the little high wall right there. That's an auction block. Our forefathers were sold downtown. So once we got off those ships, we'll be lined up like cattle downtown and S sold unto your enemies. We were sold unto our enemies. So sis, who which set of people were we sold to? of nation where we sold to once we get off the cargo slave ships? The, the so-called white man. That's right. Read on. For bond man or slave man and bond woman and slave man. Read. And no man shall buy thee. And no man shall buy. Word buy just simple means save. No man shall, can save you. There is only one savior and that's Jesus the Christ. The black. Yes, I say. The black Messiah. That's right. Then, sis. Sis, yeah. Have a question? You got a question? All right. So I said that the only man that can. So, oh, hold on, hold on. So we went into slavery by breaking the laws, right? Now let's see some of the laws in which we broke to go into slavery. Get me Deuteronomy 22, verse 5. Sis, sis, right? 
Enter. Sis, sis, you, be, you believe in the Bible, right? You believe everything this Bible says. Huh? Yeah, you believe everything. So if this Bible says something, you will apply it, right? All right. Let's see some of the laws that we broke to go in slavery. Give me that. Deuteronomy right, 22, verse 5. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, and verse 5. So you say you believe in the Bible. Anything what this Bible says, you will apply to your life, right? Read. The woman. So what's the topic right here? Sis, can you please come a little closer? Come a little closer, please. Thank you. So you say that the woman is the topic right here, right? All right, read. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So, 2017 says, I see you smiling because you already know where I'm coming, right? 2017, what does woman wear today that pertains unto a man? Talk up in the mic. Talk up in the mic. Pants, right? Because, all right, let's just look on it analytically, right? Why do you think that there is a zip up right here on the pants? If you go to the bathroom, can you just pull the zipper, pluck something out and hold a pee, pee No. You have to what? You have to take off. That surely say it's not your garment. You understand? Sis, back in the 1940s, were women wearing pants? No. Back in the 1950s, were women wearing pants? No. Since we became indoctrinated by this devil here and his doctrines and philosophies, we adopted his custom. You understand? Read right. about that. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So you Israelite woman, you are not supposed to wear pants. God says God. Right. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So you Israelite men, you are not supposed to wear a woman's garment. You understand? Because if I see you walking around in Panty and Brazier, what would be my interpretation of that? Say that you are a chichi man, right? I read. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. So woman in pants, man in panty braziers are what? Are what? Sis, woman in pants and man wearing brazier and female clothes are what? Thus says the Lord. Do you know? Alright, read, read that part, the last part again. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. So everybody that prostrates are abomination unto the Lord thy God. Right? So question, does God like abominations? No. Does God like abominations, sis? No. All right, but we still have to prove it. God hates abomination. You understand? God hates to see his special people, his chosen people in sin. You understand? Read that. Sirach 15. Sirach 15, verse 13. You know what I want? Because they have to say in church that God, God, um, God hates the sin but loves the sinner, right? Have any one of you heard that before? God loves the sin but hates the sinner. Come on, I know y'all hear it already. Stop be, being liars, man. Stop, huh? Oh, sorry, my correction. God loves the, the sinner but hates the sin. You must hear that before. Read this. The book of Sirach, chapter 15, verse 13. Read it to show you that God hates abomination. The Lord hated all abomination. God hates all abomination. You understand? Read. And they that fear God love it not. The, the people who fear God is the ones that keep the commandments of God. You understand? And they that fear God hates it as well. That's why we're out here correcting our people. You understand? Now get me said, I, I made a statement earlier that God hates the sin, but love the sinner. Get me Sirach 12 and 6. Because we are here to break out all the lies that this damn devil and his churches put in your mind. You understand? You have to be born again. You have to forget everything 
that you learn in those poor houses. Read this. The book of Sirach, chapter, chapter 12 and verse 6. For the Most High hated sinners. Read it again. For the Most High hated sinners. Read it again. For the Most High hated sinners. So women in pants, I want it. I, I want you. I want my sisters to give me an honest question. Woman in pants is a sin, right? So according to what we just read, do God likes y'all right now in pants? Yes or no? No. Sis, what what do you say? The Bible says, read it again. For the most high hated sinners. So the Bible says, sis, the most high hated sinners. Right? Read. And will repay vengeance unto the ungodly. And will and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly. The, the ungodly are the ones who not keep the laws such as the commandments of God. Right. The Bible says God hates sinners. God don't love sinners. Right. You understand? So, what is sin? What is sin, sir? Because God says that he hates sinners. So, you have to know what is sin. Because if you're in sin, that means you're a sinner. Simple ABC. So what is sin? You... All right. All right. What is sin, sis? Do you know? Sir, what is sin? Do you know? You don't? All right. You know, what is sin? Something ugly. Something what's ugly? All right, sis. What is sin according to the Bible? Because you go to church, right? All right. How many years have you been in church? Let's just be honest. The Bible says, "Thou shalt not lie." How many years have you been in church? Two years. All right. What is sin? Because the because the pastors love the code. Um, Romans 6.23 For the wages of sin is death But they never tell you what is sin So I'm asking you You say you've been to church for two years What is sin according to the Bible? Say thou shalt not sin or commit adultery Alright Sir, you just came here What is sin according to the Bible? Do you know? Going against God's will. All right. Sir, you just came as well. What is sin? Can I come a little closer? All right, all right, all right. You all are close. You all are close. But let's hear what the Bible says sin is. Right? Get me that. First John chapter 3, verse 4. Please, people, write down these scriptures. You will not hear it in your churches. The Bible says and define what is sin. First John chapter 3, verse 4. Read. The book of First John chapter 3 and verse 4. So we are reading from first we are reading from the New Testament. We are going to define what is sin. Read. Whosoever committed sin, so whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So sin is the breaking of God's laws. You understand? Are you, sis, are you clear? Sin is the breaking of God's laws. You clear, sir? Now, now let's see a law what our so-called brothers today are breaking. Because sin is the breaking of God's laws. And God hates the sinner. The person who is breaking the laws, that's classified as a sinner, right? Now let's see a law what our brothers are breaking today, read. The book of Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. They shall not make baldness upon their head. So the Bible says the man should not make baldness upon their head. You understand? Because baldness was a custom of the Egyptians. They classify here as impurity. You understand? For example, some of our brothers today in the sports world love the ballness. For example, Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan loved the ballness. You understand? Read. Neither 
Shall they shave off the corner of their beard? So you're not supposed to shave off the corners of your beard. That's a sin as well. You understand? Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Times. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.